All right, so today we're going to be looking at lesson 20-1. We're going to be looking at 45, 45, 90 triangles. So these are considered right isosceles triangles, and that is because they have a 90-degree angle, so that makes it a right triangle. And then they have two angles that are congruent. They have two 45-degree angles. And since we have two angles that are congruent, that means we have two side lengths that are congruent, which makes it an isosceles triangle. So we're going to start off by looking at a 45-45 degree, 45-45-90 degree triangle. So we're going to draw our right angle. And then since we know we have a 45 degree angle and another 45 degree angle, we know that these two sides are the same length. And so those are your legs. And so the first thing that we know is that both legs are congruent. So both of your legs are congruent to each other. Then pick a variable. I'm going to pick S for the side length. You would prefer X or A or whatever letter you like. You pick it. And then I'm going to look for the hypotenuse using Pythagorean theorem. So we know a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And our a and our b this time are s. So we can say s squared plus s squared. Since we have s squared plus s squared, that's like two of the same thing. So we can say two s squared. And then we're looking for the hypotenuse. So our hypotenuse is c. So we're going to take the square root of c, and so the square root of c is just c. The square root of 2, if you use your calculator, you should get a decimal, and so we don't want to leave it as a decimal. We want to leave it as square root of 2, since it doesn't reduce. And then square root of, two, uh, square root of s squared, the square root and the squared cancel, leaving us with just s. So what that means, our hypotenuse is square root times s, which you can also write as s times the square root of 2. And so what that means, your hypotenuse is the square root of 2 times the leg. So now, if you know your leg length, if we know the s value, all we need to do to get our hypotenuse is to multiply it by the square root of 2. So if the leg length is known, you are going to multiply by the square root of 2 to find your hypotenuse. However, if the hypotenuse is known, we've got to do the other direction. So instead of multiplying by the square root of 2, you're going to divide by the square root of 2. So you can divide by the square root of 2. If you would rather not divide by the square root of 2, there is something else. And we're going to do an example before I finish writing that one. We're going to come back to finish in that blank. So let's look at number 1. First thing you need to do, you notice that you have a 45 degree angle here, and it's a right triangle. So we have a 45, 45, 90 triangle. They give us the leg. So since we know the leg, if you know your leg length, you're going to multiply that by the square root of 2 to find your hypotenuse. So the 25 times the square root of 2 is simply 25 square roots of 2. So that means that our x is 25 square roots of 2. You don't need your calculator. You can leave it just like that. Look at it number 2. We are given the hypotenuse. So when you know the hypotenuse, you can divide by the square root of 2. So we're going to take 17 and divide it by the square root of 2. Now we can't leave it like this. We have to make sure that we do not have a radical in the denominator. We are going to need to rationalize it. So the way that you rationalize these is to multiply by whatever is in your denominator here. So square root of 2, and you put it over itself. Because square root of 2 over square root of 2, anything over itself is just a 1. So 
So we haven't changed the value of this fraction. We're just putting it in a different form. And so now you're going to multiply. 17 times the square root of 2 is just 17 square root of 2. And then square root of 2 times square root of 2 is the square root of 4. But the square root of 4 is 2. So we can write 17 square root of 2 over 2. And so that would be your x value. The other option, you don't have to do it that way, is to multiply by something. And so if you are dividing by 2, instead of dividing by 2, you can multiply by the square root of 2 over 2. And that's to find the leg. So that's the other option. So I have 17, and I'm going to multiply it by square root of 2 over 2. Well, 17 times square root of 2 is 17 square root of 2, and then divide by 2. You get the same thing. So whichever way you prefer to think about that, and you may like to do one method on one problem and do the other one on the other. Divide by square root of 2 or multiply by square root of 2 over 2. So let's look at number 3. They give us this side length over here is 48. So this is a leg. So if I know my leg, I'm going to multiply it by the square root of 2. So it's going to become 48 square root of 2. Looking at number 4, they give me the hypotenuse. So there are two options. I can either take my hypotenuse and divide it by 2, or I can multiply by the square root of 2 over 2. So if I divide by the square root of 2, I'm going to have to rationalize it. So make it square root of 2 over square root of 2, which is going to become 100 square root of 2 over the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is the square root of 4, which is 2. So then, if you notice, this one's a little bit different. 100 divided by 2 will actually reduce to give me 50 square root of 2. So that's my x value. And you can get the same thing if you had decided to do it multiplying by square root of 2 over 2. 100 times the square root of 2 is 100 square root of 2 divided by 2, and you get the 50 square root of 2. So that's how you can do that one. So now, looking at number 5, they give us a leg length. They tell us it's 100. So to find the hypotenuse, we're simply going to multiply it by the square root of 2. Okay? Looking at number 6, this is an 88 for the hypotenuse. So for the hypotenuse, you can do 88 divided by the square root of 2, which means that you have to multiply by square root of 2 over square root of 2, which will give you 88 square root of 2 over the square root of 4, which is... 2, and 88 divided by 2 from these is 44. So we have 44 square root of 2. And the other option is if you had said 88 times square root of 2 divided by 2. And so 88 square root of 2 over 2, these divide to give you 44 square root of 2. Okay, so I want you to pause this video and try the next 6, 1 through 6 and see what you get, and then look and see if you worked through them correctly. So let's look at number one. You should take your leg and multiply it by square root of two to make eight square root of two to get your hypotenuse. On number two, it's a little different. You have a radical. Same idea. When you have your hypotenuse, you're going to divide by the square root of two. And if you look, you don't actually have to rationalize this one because you have a square root of 2 over square root of 2, which cancels out, leaving you with a 3 for your x value. Let's say you didn't realize that those would cancel. So let's look at it. If I rationalize it, I have square root of 2 over square root of 2, and I end up with 3 times the square root of 4 over the square root of 4, which is 3 times 2 over 2, which is 6 over 2, which is 3. You get the same thing. It works. Or you could have done 3 square root of 2 times the square root of 2 over 2, which is 3 times the square root of 4 over 2. The square root of 4 is 2, 
And so I have 6 over 2, which again is 3. So any of those options would work. You just got to pick which one you would prefer to do. So now looking at number 3, they give us a leg length. And so we know the leg multiplied by square root of 2, and that gives us the hypotenuse, 4 square root of 2. So now let's look at number 4. I'm going to erase some of this work so that I have a little bit more room. For number four, they give us a hypotenuse. And so to find your hypotenuse, you are going to divide by the square root of two. And so if you divide by the square root of two, you should end up getting nine square roots of two. For number five, they give us the hypotenuse, just like they did on number four. So we're again going to take 16 and divide it by the square root of 2. And so if you want me to work through that one, square root of 2 over 2, you're going to get 16 square root of 2 over 2, which is 8, over, uh, 8 square root of 2, because a 16 divided by 2 divides to be 8. On number 6, you have 24 square root of 2. So on this one, 24 square root of 2 is our hypotenuse. So divide by square root of 2, and the square root of 2 cancel, leaving you with a side length of 24. So on these, should you be showing lots of work? If you need to, sure, if that's what you need to do to work through these. The goal is eventually that you look at these and you know what the answer is, that you don't have a ton of work to have to work out. One option though, let's say that you're just really struggling with remembering whether you multiply or divide by the square roots of two. So one option would be all of the 45, 45, 90 triangles are similar triangles. All of these triangles are similar to each other. They are in a ratio of S to S to S squared to two every time. Or if you let S be one, it's in a ratio. I'm gonna write it over here. Of one to one to square root of two. So if you let your S be one, one, and then S times square root of two, one times square root of two is just square root of two. So one way that you can look at this is to set up similar triangles and to set up a ratio. So if you look at number one down here at the bottom, I'm going to draw my similar triangle, one, one, square root of two. And then I can actually set up ratios here. The 14 and the one are corresponding. So I can say 14 over one. The x and the square root of two are corresponding. So x and square root of two. And then if you cross multiply, 1 times x is just x, and then 14 square roots of 2. So that's another way that you could look at these if you want to set up your ratios. So that just depends on what you would prefer to do. It's up to you. Whichever way you prefer is fine with me. So looking at number 2, you should take the 45 and if you're wanting to do it in a ratio, it is corresponding to the square root of 2. And then x is corresponding to the 1. And so when you cross multiply, you have 45 equals square root of 2 times x. And then you would divide by square root of 2. And look, you're right back what we started with. And the reason, what is x over 1? It's just x. So did I need to cross multiply and divide? No. So if you do it this way, you may be able to see, hey, there it is, 45 over square root of 2. Then when you rationalize that, you should get 45 square root of 2 over 2. Looking at number 3, if you know that your side is 22, your hypotenuse is going to be 22 square root of 2. Looking at number 4, our hypotenuse is 210. So multiply by square root of 2 over 2. You're going to be taking 210 and dividing it by 2 to get 105 square root of 2. For number 5, your hypotenuse multiplied by square root of 2, so you should have 88 square root of 2. On number 6, we've got a radical. So 5 square root of 2, we're multiplying by square root of 2 to get our hypotenuse. So we have 5 times the square root of 4. The square root of 4 is 2. So if you multiply, you get 10. So hopefully that helps you understanding your 45, 45, 90 triangle. Whichever way you would like to do it works for me. You just pick which one you prefer and then you find your missing side